Okay, um, yeah, so where would I start? I would start with by looking at his assessments and his checker. He, if he, I mean, he should have that. <laughs> For tomorrow, um, it's been hard to get him invested in a tracker versus just using the grade book. So I would definitely start there, look at students' um, mastery, and look at the assessments. And I, I know that we're, the first thing we're going to have to start talking about is rigor. Um, those students are so of capable of so much more than what they're being pushed to right now. Um, I mean, they're taking college classes right now at Georgia State. They certainly can be learning how to craft AP biology essays in their classroom and just building up the rigor that matches where where they want to go in their lives. Um, so that's really something I want to, um, like the first, like the big one, I guess, like the first thing I would go, where I'd go with him. Mm -hmm. Yes, he doesn't have, you know, a, a clear vision. Um, and that, and so talking about how we're going to, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not sure um, how organized he is with planning, with unit planning and things like that. Um, and, you know, that could be an area um, that would help us get to, you know, implementing the rigor in class. Um, there's it's definitely a need in every area, but I would start with rigor. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think I think I'm on the same page. I, I don't think that this cat is has like you said. He doesn't have the vision for what a really meaningful place where he would want his kids to be. He does not even look like he's on a path there because it's some of the things that we're seeing him do in his classroom. Um, Lauren called it the Chris Miller show, and I and I've, it felt like a show. you know, and, and I think. You know, it's, it's very teacher centered as opposed to like right. There's a lot of students running things. the classroom. I mean, there are a couple students answering every question. Um, while many students were paying attention, I wasn't convinced that students were all understanding what was going on. Yeah. Um, had completed the assignment that they would need to even understand what was going on in the classroom. Um, there were no checks for understanding. There was no um, none of that. Not pushing students individually. Students made a really strong point earlier. Talking about, there seem to be a lot of assumptions made about the extent of student understanding on the front yes. end, like through the study guide and like through having done that already on their own. Yeah, yeah. No, it was really interesting. Just even like when we were watching, because we you, you missed the quiz, and so it started yeah. with the quiz. The quiz, uh, the, the quiz affirmed all of your assumptions about his assessment. Like yeah. it was all multiple choice, all identify. Um, and I think like it could get it. it I think as the, as the class stands right now, it could give a false read, mm -hmm. or is it a false positive? Is that what it is on mastery? Because mm -hmm. even if you're thinking about the quiz, the quiz is just asking kids to memorize. And so if the kids memorized all of their notes. Mm -hmm. And they were all taking notes vigorously. Yeah, they were all taking notes. Yeah. If they all memorized their notes for our test, they could do really well on that test because the test was not asking them to do anything beyond memorization and right. identifying things. Yeah. And so I, I think it could give a false, I, I think it could build on that assumption that kids are really understanding what we're teaching. Yeah. Right. And Lauren, I think your instincts are right, like yeah. the connection you're making to the fact that these are kids who are going to GSU classes, like they could be pushed to do so much more, mm -hmm. but he's not making that push for them. And so like, I think that is the big, that's the big convincing thing for me that makes mm -hmm. me feel like they're not really on the path yet towards a meaningful right. destination because he's not mm -hmm. putting them on that path. But right. I think these are kids that could be. Yeah. These kids are primed for it, absolutely. Yeah. They're, they're, they, I think, will rise to whatever expectation he holds for them. Yeah. He just needs to raise his expectations. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you, Thank you very much.